Hey there, let's take a look at a new feature on Windows inside of Dev Home that uses AI to help you get started with your development projects quickly. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Dev Home. And if you go to Settings and go to Experimental Features, you'll find a new Quick Start Playground option here. You're going to click Yes to turn this on. And then when you turn that on, it will install an extension for you. And then after, you'll find this machine configuration page. You'll see a Quick Start Playground option added here. Once you click that, you're going to choose an extension provider, dev container using OpenAI, and then you're ready to start. From here, you can choose some of the examples that we put up top, uh, but I'm going to put in a new project, which is create a project to visualize the Mandelbrot set, and then another 3D math function. And you note that I didn't specify the language that I put in here, and it's also a little bit ambiguous and kind of a creative project of how do you choose what math function? How do you visualize it? The goal of this is really to give you the ability to put in some general dev ideas and get an environment that is ready to start for coding for that exact project. And you can see that this is all powered by AI. We are using AI to generate this entire environment. And so you can see that we've outputted some files here. And what I'm going to do first is open this up in Visual Studio Code. And while it's loading up, we can take a look at what is actually running. So I've opened this up in VS Code. And from here, I'm going to make sure that I have Docker Desktop running and the VS Code Dev Containers extension installed. And you can see it's detected that this is a Dev Container configuration file and prompted me to reopen this in that exact container. And so what this is actually doing behind the scenes is we are asking AI to generate these files, the Dev Container.json and Docker file file. Uh, this makes a Dev Container definition. This allows us to develop directly inside of a Linux container, and it allows us to do things like say, I need to install Python. I need to install the matplotlib and numpy packages inside of Python. And then the Docker file is saying, I am need to grab Ubuntu and install Python inside of that. On top of that, we even generate a VS Code launch.json file, which can help us debug. And we've generated some sample uh, Python functions here. So now that it's fully loaded up, inside of VS Code, let's take a look at what that actually looks like. You can see when I run this up, let's run the Mandelbrot one first. Um, when I start this, you notice that it actually installed the Python extension for us. So all we need to do to get started with this is just hit F5 on our keyboard. It's already set the debug environment. It's installed everything we need. And from there, when we hit F5, we get the exact output of this project, which is an interactive version of the Mandelbrot set. This is pretty cool from just inputting a text to getting the full prompt that I want. But I that wasn't the only instruction I gave it. I also asked it to make a 3D math function viewer. So it's written this code for me, and let's see how it did. I'm going to hit F5, and it's going to start up this project. And it has created a sample 3D math function, which looks pretty cool. And it's fully interactable, um, just like what I asked for in the prompt. And so we really hope it's a way for you to go and be able to go back and explore different ways to have different development projects. You're able to use and generate these. Give us feedback and let us know what you think. Thank you for tuning in.